Hi, so in this particular lab, we are going to be focusing on the polytomas or the multinomial regression. Um, we will talk about two different types of fitting here. One is in the regular data set, one is in the survey data set. And then we will talk about ordinal regression later on. All right. So this is the data set that we are using. This is the uh, CCHS mental health component from 2012. Um, and for the purposes of explaining this lab, we are just going to assume that there are no missing values in this particular data set. So in this data set, you can see this mental health condition is going to be a three level variable, good, poor or fair, and there, there, there should be an excellent category. So you can see this uh, two, three, one category. So there, that means that there are three levels in the outcome variable that we are considering and rest of them are basically um, the input variables so say for example this community be belonging can be your exposure variable and the rest of these variables can be your adjustment variable all right so in the unweighted table when um, we are not really using the survey weight we are basically uh, stratifying the table with respect to the mental health condition and you can see good poor or fair and uh, very good or excellent so these are the three outcome categories and based on which we are basically cross tabulating and checking the p-value with respect to the chi-square all right so it is certainly possible that we subset our data set to um, only this very good and excellent and this poor or fair so that we can compare this poor or fair and very good and excellent alternatively we can subset our data set in such a way that we only have this good versus poor or fair and we delete this part of the data set um, what that will achieve us is that if we are basically going to compare these two we can basically subset the data and delete these two and run a lowest regression model uh, similar to the ones that we have uh, seen before uh, in the previous labs or if we are comparing this poor, fair, and uh, very good and excellent, we can simply delete all of the observations associated with good, and then we can simply compare the these two labels, um, where this poor or fair can be the reference category, and this can be the other category for the logistic regression. But here we are not going to do that. Here we are going to keep all of these three categories in our data set and we are basically going to use a multinomial regression uh, where mental health condition is going to be our outcome and we are um, essentially adjusting for all of the other covariates. Um, in here uh, before running the multinomial what we are doing is we are relabeling our um, factor variables so that we can specify which is um, the level that we exactly want as our uh, reference level right and after running um, those updated variables using this multinomial fun function from the uh, neural ne uh, nnet package you can see that we can get the ors ratios in this way so you can see since our poor or fair was the reference category we are still getting good versus very good uh, slash excellent um, and we are getting all of the coefficients uh, with respect to these two different categories note that we have two intercepts here and two coefficients with respect to each of these covariate levels that we have um, uh, you can kind of think of this as one logistic regression and another logistic regression um, even though we are getting the entire fit from the same uh, multinomial regression, right? Um, and the interpretation of these OR ratios are very similar to the interpretation of the OR ratios that you you would get uh, from the lowest regression. This OR ratio is 
um, something that uh, is basically com a comparison between the good versus the reference level, um, the poor or fair reference level, right? All right, so remember, this was just the multinomial regression fitting, but this had nothing to do with the survey weight. So once you have the weight, you need to define that as the survey design. And remember that this is a very simplified example. We are not really dealing with any missing data. So we are not really addressing any of the problem associated with missing data in this particular example. So in here, uh, when we create the design, you can still use the survey create table uh, one pack, uh, function to get the uh, tabulation. Uh, and you can use the strata uh, um, argument to get the stratified version of the table one. And you can set up the design again and then um, relabel your um, reference category as you please. And then you can uh, basically use the as survey design um, to convert that original design to a bootstrap type of replication design. And then you can use the survey multinom function from the um, survey replicate uh, MISC package. And this is a package that is not available in CRAN. So you have to download the package uh, from the GitHub and install the package um, with your R. And sometime um, what I noticed is that it will ask you to update the packages that are already installed in your R, uh, but sometime you might not be able to update the package uh, and then just choose do not update the package and that should resolve the problem. At least that did not give me any problem when I just chose do not update any, any of my packages uh, while I was installing this particular package from GitHub. All right, so this particular package is giving me this survey multinom function and I can still get the um, odds ratios in a very similar way. You can see um, this is the uh, intercept that is associated with good. This, this is the intercept that is associated with the very good versus excellent. And the poor or fair was basically the reference category. Similarly, you can see all of these um, different variables um, and the associated odds ratios. And this package also gives you the confidence intervals, which are represented here in these last two columns.